nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Welcome to DFW Roundtable Podcast, Texas' most powerful and entertaining podcast. Bringing you the best in entertaining interviews from the industry's top music entertainers, sports athletes, and much more. So grab a seat and a cold one and watch, listen, and enjoy. And now, here is your host, Ruben Campos. González y el fantástico grupo más que la fiesta continúe Jimmy gracias, gracias, gracias So 
Hey, and welcome back, everybody, to our next uh, on our next episode of DFW Roundtable. We've got uh, tonight. We've got a super great guest, great friend of mine, known him for years, super established musician and producer. Uh, this gentleman has uh, multiple Grammy awards as well. Uh, has been in the industry for a very long time, uh, Mr. Johnny Rod Rodriguez. Johnny, are you on, brother? Yes, sir. How you doing, brother? Hey, he is, brother. It's great. Johnny, great to see you, man. Great to see you. Man, it's been years, Johnny. It's been years. Thank you so much for being on the show, bro. Oh, thank you for having me on. I appreciate that. Hey, uh, so what our audience just saw a little while ago, man, I, I gave him a little bit of flashback of uh, Johnny back in the play with Margarita and then uh, uh, some moss. So that's when Johnny had the long hair. Yeah, that was way back in the day. <laughs> That's the Johnny I, I I remember, man, with the long hair, man. <laughs> yeah, I, I cut it out. <laughs> yeah, but uh, anyway, Johnny, uh, for for our folks out there, we've we've got a good established um, group out there. And uh, a couple of weeks ago, man, we had uh, our brother from another mother, Mister Mike Gonzalez himself, on the show. Yep. So I uh, had a great show with the man. So um, I'm sure that this is going to be another great one, Johnny, because you've got some tremendous stories, uh, huge accomplishments that you've had, brother, as a musician. Um, and I'm looking at the back there and I can already tell, but we're not going to talk about that right now. But definitely it's 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 uh, it's eye catching, brother, that that gold in the back. <laughs> <laughs> it's very eye catching, but we'll talk about that a little bit. But for our audience, man, uh, definitely want to bring him in a little bit, uh, get to know Johnny a little bit. So, Johnny, you've been in the industry now for a bit over thirty three years, no, brother? Yeah, yes, I have. I um, I started with my dad. I don't, he taught me guitar when I was four. So was my Jeez! <laughs> wow, man! Wow! Now your your dad was also an established musician, right? He, he played with a uh, uh, San Jordan. Um, he played guitar for him, and then he played uh, also with uh, Isidro Lopez, El Indio. Yes, and yes. Also Oscar Martinez, to repair. You know, yep. Various other groups, you know, you know, in that area. Oh yeah, brother, two 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 great accordion players, man, Isidro and Steve Jordan, man. Wow, that's awesome, bro. So uh, from from there, man, from guitar, how did uh, how long did it take to to for you to start playing professionally, uh, Johnny? Um, well, I was just learning, right, at four. Uh, when I was eight, uh, I already knew guitar, you know, pretty well. So I knew my way around the bass, and they needed a bass player. And, hey, dude, get, you know, you can play bass. And I go, oh, I can't. Oh, and I was little, <laughs> big, old, big old long neck. I was a bass <laughs> than me. Uh, I started, that was my first playing gig uh, when I was eight. Um, and then I played bass for a little bit, and then uh, I played guitar, and I would do serenata. But Oscar Martinez would go, he'll do a trumpet, I'll be a guitar, and my dad would sing, he has his guitar. And um, we did that for, for a while, and then I uh, moved over to keyboards when my dad passed away in 87. So I was okay. here, and then I went uh, back to music, but then I went to keyboards. He played with Liscano, Gonzalo Liscano. He's an awesome Yes, guy. yes. Out there, how uh, Johnny? Let me ask you this, brother. How was that transition from guitar to keyboards, man? Because that's those are two two totally different instruments, man. And and uh, they relate to each other, you know, because uh huh, you use both hands like sitting with a guitar, uh, right? And since Liscano was always with my dad, and there was a, I would always be at the rehearsals, I would watch him how he would play, so I would I would be looking, and um, I got. I got that advice from him, you know, and he, he used to tell me a couple of little things also. And so you picked it up by ear, brother? I picked it up by ear, yeah. I took that is awesome. piano in school, so I could learn how to read the notes. I can't read the notes. <laughs> so everything's by ear. Um, I, I learned them. I can, like, I can read them, but I cannot sight read. I, I'll, I'll be kind of little lines in the bolitas, and okay, yeah. <laughs> but uh, I yeah, can that's awesome, man. That is awesome. So ever since then, you stayed on keys, man. And and what you've been able to accomplish on keyboards, Johnny, has just been amazing, dude. I've had the privilege to have worked with you in the studio, see you in action in the studio. You've seen you. I've had the privilege to to have you uh, on gigs as well, man, with some other bands. And see, and it's, it just amazes me, man, what you've been able to do. 
Uh, so take me through that journey, man, because I, I remember the, and our, 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 our fans and, and our audience just saw you jamming out with Margarita. Um, so uh, take us through that journey, man, and how that began and, and then uh, slowly getting into Maz, man, and how, how that all happened, bro. Um, um, well, I, I, I had started with an Explosivo, with a Georgia okay. Explosivo, uh, and then uh, later that's when I went Margarita, so I, I appeared with her, and that's where I met Jay Alani, Jonas, and Jorge, uh, and yeah, we were, um, we were a nucleus, all of us, and we would always work together. Right. Um, she was, I got a... Uh, meet with Jimmy Gonzalez to have him produce for CD. So okay. we met with him, and so he did produce the album. And then, uh, my uh, my friend and I, we wrote a song, uh, Te Juro, and that was her first single that was released for her, and we did a video on, on that one. And they went on the album. Um, and the studio, um, that's where I met Jimmy. That was at Gilbert Velasquez's studio in San Antonio. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and Te Lujuro was the song we opened up with, man. It just so happened to... So you co-wrote that? Uh, I arranged it. You arranged it, yeah. Okay. Man, that's awesome, man. Yeah. So that is your, your first experience there with, with working with Jimmy in the studio, huh? Yeah, yeah. Yes. All right. So that, that and, and then from there, brother, um, I guess you, you, again, you've, you've, uh, I call you the hardest working in the industry, hardest working man in the industry, man. You, you, uh, you do not just, uh, work with bands, but do your own production as well, which we'll get into in a little bit, but, uh, take us through that journey, man, of, of how you came about, uh, and, and, cause I remember Jimmy, uh, saying, man, that, uh, he told Margarita, uh, and I quote, "Hey, I'm going to take him from you when when he had work with you in the studio." <laughs> <laughs> is that is that true, man? Yeah, she, she was like, "No, no, you're not. He's mine." And, <laughs> and he told her, uh, "I'm going to make him kind of confused." And um, <laughs> sure enough, he did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just to sit on the side of the stage and watch them play. You know, he had Cesar Mojica on keep. You know, and Brando, uh, Brando's getting out. So um, um, he did. He paid me, and then hey, you want to go in this gig? And then this gig? Or, Hell yeah! So I threw my keyboard to the back of his truck, and I rode off in the sunset. Hey, vámonos. Vámonos. Yeah. So we, uh, you know, um, I started off with him, and the first time I recorded with him uh, was at his studio uh, in Brownsville, Padre Sound. Studios, um, and it was uh, Kenny up inside. We laid the preliminary tracks on there. His engineer had quit because the mods had broken up. And oh, hey, Johnny, Paul, and I, I wish we could. I wish we could play the songs, but I don't know how to run. And I go, I can run. I can run your studio for you. No, but that's local. And I'm like, no, I don't know what to do. And I learned it from Alex Montes because I played with Alex Montes for a while, and he taught me. Got it. So uh, I loaded up, I loaded up the ADAT and, and and fired it up, and we like, oh wow, well can you record? And I go, yeah. <laughs> so uh, we, I go, we looked for some some tape that had some space on it, so we ended up recording Kenny uh, Apesada there, and then we did Apesada Todo, and that was the first single release. That is awesome, and and and, and the re and the rest as they say is history, brother. From that, <laughs> man, it's just amazing. Right, like, hold on. Yeah. Uh, one of the things, uh, uh, Johnny, that we talked about myself and Mike, um, uh, was when you guys were working on that album, man, um, not a lot of people know that, uh, that things weren't, weren't, uh, weren't as rosy as Amy seemed. You guys went through some rough spots there and you guys were struggling yeah. and this was, yeah. So, so this album, man, it's like he said, we all believed in it. And we never gave up and we, we, we had our feeling that this thing was going to make. So we, we just never looked back and we kept it going. Yeah. That's awesome, man. So, uh, a pesar de todo, man, that's, that's the first one. Yeah. And, and then from there, man, you guys just kept coming every year, brother. It was originally Margarita. So I had gotten it from a, a friend of mine, Richard Allen in Austin. And, um, um, well, she ended up not recording it. And, uh, Jimmy goes, well, I wish I could record it where you want it. I, I'm the one who got it. <laughs> so, so, uh, 
Oh wow! Yeah, hell yeah. So we recorded it, and that was a was it was a good hit for us. It was an awesome hit, bro. Honestly, man, it's one of my favorites. Um, Johnny, I gotta ask you, man. That intro is just killer, brother. Uh, how did you come up with that, man? Uh, the intro, um, uh, just I, I, I have a lot of rock influence, so I like big, you know, eighty uh, yes, heavy, heavy, heavy sounds, you know. So um, um, I, I came up with some some of the, some of the arrangement on that. And then Jerry LaRosa did it, you know, he went and ended up did the overdubs. Got it, man. Yeah, the, another great keyboard player, Jerry De La Rosa, man. Jerry De La Rosa, he taught me voicings uh, on keyboard. He taught me, like, uh, I'm not very good with soloing. So he told me, uh, you know, the next note up or the next note down, it's the right note. And he was right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Jerry Jerry was another heck of a producer, man. He was a, he was a master very absolutely man absolutely man so uh you guys hit the road quite a bit man uh and uh and then the grammy start coming brother and it just uh became a huge huge thing from there bro uh you guys were pretty big you got we we would see you guys on every tv show uh you know your videos were playing hot and heavy man so uh how was it man you guys were spending quite a bit of time on the road no we were and um and um uh, in the studio <laughs> so like <laughs> that's all it was studio road studio road so we started off uh uh playing at small venues and since jimmy had joe lopez and a lot of big promoters like no sorry jimmy we're gonna hire you because we didn't have joe lopez and, and so the album came out that's when things changed you know and um right they wanted them so we started getting more gigs you know, and thanks to all the people that helped us in the, during that beginning. It was a rough start. But once we got the ball rolling, it, it kind of, things got better. You know, and Mike came in, Mike, because we, we had um, a lot of playing drums, and Mike came in. Yes. You know, and um, and so uh, he would uh, he would come and play some songs, but a lot wanted to do the second set because Mike's left-handed, so he had to switch the drum the other way. That's right. Uh, so, he, yeah, so he came in and and also that like, he, he stopped and retired, you know. Yeah, we were talking about that, uh, me and you, Johnny, about uh, one of the things, man, uh, with Jimmy and Maz was you guys came out hit after hit after hit. But by what you just told me, that's why you guys were on the road, come right back in the studio, record. And you constantly were in the studio, no? Coming up with new stuff? No, well, I, I would always carry my, 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 my MacBook. So, and I record on it. So, uh, I'll go to his room. Johnny, come to the room. You know, <laughs> hotel, and I take my stuff over there. I have a little, little uh, travel mic. And yeah. we'll, we'll drop the ideas there at the hotel, and we'll get them. It comes to him. Man. And, and uh, I got an idea. Hey, Jimmy. And then we'll, we'll get together, and we'll start laying it down. And uh, he would have this tape, tape recorder, cassette recorder, uh, Panasonic. <laughs> I mean, he wouldn't let it because he was punching out it. <laughs> uh, I wonder what happened to all those tapes. You gotta be somewhere. Uh, Can you imagine, bro, if you'd find those tapes or Mike finds those tapes, man? That that'd be magical, bro. Yeah, there's some good memory stuff right there. I have some. some or um, you know, my, um, but yeah, we'll, 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 uh, uh, we'll arrange, we'll arrange it. Uh, put the arrangement together, and, and um, then we'll go back and listen to it, and oh, let's change this, change that, and then. Once we got the basic structure, then we'll go uh, fire up the studio and start laying it down on the, on, on the tracks. I got to tell you, Johnny, uh, hats off to you and Jimmy, man. Uh, we, everybody knew Jimmy was the, was the music man behind Moz, the original Moz, right? Yeah. But it's like Mike said, man. Uh, Moz was right here, brother. I'm sorry. No. Yeah. Yeah, Moz was right here, but then Jimmy came out, man, and you guys took it to a whole new level, man. The 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 music was just way out of this world, man. Well, well, no, that that old Maz was hard to beat. <laughs> it is, man. Oh, but but to re to reinvent yourself the ways you guys did, yeah. bro, and come and come out like that is something yeah, he else. He definitely proved himself uh, as a solo artist, and he didn't want to sing uh, himself. He would always want. He would have several singers that that we had worked with before, and uh, when we signed up with Freddie. Um, and no one want you to sing. So yeah, had, uh, actually Stevie D with us. Uh, yeah, he had recorded Stevie D uh, on one of the one of the songs, 
And Freddie was like, no, I want this Jimmy. <laughs> and yeah. Then we had him, then we had Danny Ortiz. Danny Ortiz came in later uh, uh, also. And um, but we had Rebecca Valadez. Yeah. And then yep. he for the years. Then Tina. Yeah. Hey John, and one of the things I I I, uh, I can't uh, I can't uh, fail to to mention, man, is that uh, you you and Jimmy got pretty close, man. There, as to, to where he's not only you don't you not only saw him as a mentor, man, but almost as a father figure. No, you you and him became super tight. Yeah, most definitely. You know, uh, when I would jam out with my dad, um, I uh, it, it was it took so much away from me when he passed away in eighty seven. So um, when I uh, when I met Jimmy and I started working with Jimmy, I felt that same vibe, you know, and, and we we just connected right away. So he looked at me; I know exactly what he wanted, and you know, like like we had that like, we had a, a good um, chemistry. And I right. like like I was like I was jamming with my dad again, and then yeah. like happy about that. And uh, that and is- then he me daba consejos, not only teaching me, I was not only working with him, you know. And and then I come there. Wow, it's Jimmy Gonzalez <laughs> from. <laughs> and so, but in we were, we got we were very close, and and I said, "No, mal, me da consejo, no, que es, no, me da por corrones." But uh, yeah, man, lots of great pictures too, Johnny. You you've shared some great pictures too, brother. Uh, you've you've got years and years of great memories that uh, were left behind, man. From 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 the times you guys were in a row. Yes, uh, it was uh, it was an experience. Oh yeah, uh, I got two questions for you, brother. Pertaining to that, okay? I, 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 uh, and I may throw you off a little bit, but uh, I, I'm curious to see, man. So uh, you guys were in the row quite a bit. So uh, what 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 do you? I guess if I was to ask you, man, what's been the most memorable thing? Uh, or memory that you have that you can say, if you can only pick one, brother, what what would that be from from your time with Moss? What would that be? Yeah, well, what would that be? The most memorable thing for you during all the, all those years, man? What would you say? Hey, out of all of them, man, there's a lot of them. This this is probably my biggest, greatest memory I, I, I would take with me. <laughs> it's just funny, but... We, uh, there was a song that we recorded, um, Por Amar, ya, si, por Cristian Castro. Uh-huh. Um, we stayed up 26 and a half hours recording, wow. beginning to end, and we finished it, right? Well, Damn. like all the keyboard parts, and, and the guitar parts, and the vocals, and except for the drums, um, and, um, well, there's been house, right? So it's already like four o'clock in the morning, and then Jeez. we gotta go eat. Uh, sometimes we're gonna go eat in the kitchen, and um, it's quiet, right? And, and, it's, and for Lisa G, she's asleep, right? Yeah. But all of a sudden, just boom! And the door, and I'm, I'm, it's right behind me. I'm like, we're starving. <laughs> and, and it was just well, like one hard knock, and she goes, go. Go see it. I go look through the people. <laughs> and I'm looking out because I see a, like a, a fuzzy white rabbit. <laughs> and, yeah, yeah, like, so I'm thinking, okay, there's somebody, a uh, uh, bird, single gram or something like that. Oh, right. <laughs> and, and, well, what? Who is it? Mason Jimmy. It's a giant rabbit. <laughs> Giant rabbit. I open the door and uh, so I walk out and I, I trip over it. It's a newspaper. Oh. <laughs> and then we start cracking up because, uh, uh, and then Lisa wakes up with us laughing. Oh my God. Oh, and she tells me, oh, babe, I forgot to tell you, I bought a read. A rabbit on it. <laughs> it was a reed. <laughs> oh my goodness, man! <laughs> I, I, so much for hurting, couldn't breathe. Oh my god, <laughs> dude, that's funny, man. Yeah. 
Oh man, what a great memory, dude! All right, man, one more for you, brother, because I don't that that's funny, man. I'm always sure that 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 will be last forever, oh, man. Yeah. One more for you, man, because I know when especially when you're making those 10 12 hour drives brother it, it gets boring and and musicians will be clowns bro they'll they'll start pulling pranks and doing all sorts of crazy stuff so or, what would you what would you say have been the craziest thing that uh, you you've seen or have done while on the road bro oh well, yeah coming back from the grammys uh we won our, we won our first grammy in 2001 getting up inside uh uh-huh. we able to get it right there that night cuz that's when 911 happened it was september 11 the yeah. plane was headed to Los Angeles. And um, so uh, they evacuated the hotel. And Jimmy, I never seen Jimmy get up so fast. <laughs> so, yeah, he went down to the brig. I'm like, that? <laughs> uh, and uh, and uh, we squeezed into a little Ford Taurus. Wow. Yeah. And so uh, Lisa drove uh, and we stopped in Vegas. So we kind of chilled there for about a week. <laughs> yeah, Jimmy. Uh, okay, well, well, take over the Giants. So I took over and I, I, I'm driving back. I got lost. Oh. <laughs> and, and, and I'm not seeing no signs. And I see a sign. <laughs> uh, 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 um, what was it? That's uh, in Area 51, bro. <laughs> And there was a there was a with a, with, with, with a truck with, with a light on. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Back, you know, with like with like um, restricted area. <laughs> that's, that's what it was. Restricted area. You know. You know. Um, no one. <laughs> you know, excessive force will be used. Like, oh, oh hell no. And, and Jimmy like, Lisa, Lisa, like, <laughs> and I don't like, know. Um, Johnny, I'm driving. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah brother you're lucky you didn't get shot over there man that, that 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 place is high security man that place is super high security uh, there was uh the truck on the side <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah that's awesome man thank you for sharing that johnny that is pretty cool yeah. man that yep. is pretty hey. cool Oh, hey, Johnny. So after Moss, bro, you uh, you've continued, uh, you continued on, man. You've been busy, brother. I, I've been I've been keeping taps on you, brother, and watching you, following you on Facebook. Um, you're super busy, always on the road, jamming out with different bands. But uh, you you've also stayed busy in your own studio, which is uh, you're running Rodzilla Music. Uh, you yeah, like I said earlier, man. You're you're established producer as well, man. Um, so uh, talk to us a little bit about that, man. Uh, Rodzilla current projects you're working on if you know what what we can expect out there coming coming out out of uh out of out of uh your production company brother okay um yeah um i have a bunch of the music uh productions where i do my uh all my uh i do many of uh, pre-production right and i start off mm-hmm. with gilbert or with uh abraham at uh, productions or at freddy's uh i've I produced like joe lara a group of um Marcos Giorosco, the book Extremo. Yes. You yep. know, also, uh, El Chal- I draw a lot. I'm working uh, Eric, Eric Foy, Chalo, from the Valley. So uh, okay. I'm doing his, his next single as well. Um, who else? Uh, I want to do the role with Stevie D. Um, well, I'm doing... Uh, and Beto Ramon. He's, uh, oh, I'm yeah. I'm writing a book for... All the hits for you know, can make canciones, but it, when yes, me, like, yeah, mm-hmm. the great, the great Beto Ramon, man. Yeah, yeah his song list uh goes forever, bro. The the hits he's written, man, has been outstanding. Yeah, so um, yeah, so the hits um kept on coming. Yeah, and you've uh, you've uh, you've played with Beto, right? You've jammed out with Beto, oh. you've jammed out with Stevie D. Mm-hmm. I um. And I made I made better through, through Jimmy. I do, I'm a keyboard tech. I do keyboard repair. I open a mouth fix it. So right. I needed his keyboard fix. So he would come to the studio and, and Jimmy would record him in a cassette. I better would eat that. And, uh, and oh, well, Johnny, you fix keyboard. He's how many fix it? Oh, I got a D, Roland D50. Can you fix it for me? And I go, yeah. Oh, I went to the house to fix it for him. So that's how I met him. And then, that's awesome, bro. Then, that is awesome, brother. 
All right, Johnny. So let's give uh, our audience a little bit peek of what you got back there, brother. Because like I said, that that gold is just mind boggling oh. to me, brother. Uh, and and what we're seeing there, audience, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, those are actual Grammy awards. And Johnny's going to get us a sneak peek into this. These are, uh, let me see if I can turn this around here. Oh, not that one. Okay, I don't know how to turn it around. Let me, uh, I guess I'll just take one out. You can just take one yeah, out. I don't want my base here. Yeah, look at that. Johnny's well prepared, man. He's got everything there at the house. So, okay, I'll grab. Oh, there's a good view of all of them right there. It's from top to bottom. It's from... uh, Kenny Up Inside album, my first album. That's when uh, the um, the Twin Towers got hit. I mean, that's where I got lost. Air Fifty One. I don't know. Um, oh, maybe I'm. I don't know if it's I mean, my answer, uh, siempre humilde. That's for, uh, um, for, uh, I want to take it here, here too. I want to go see the, oh, yeah. Us too. We got, uh, the Latin Grammy and we also won the American Grammy. Uh, it's a black one. Here's a uh, Fuera Mas. I'll just pull one of these out. Uh, uh, they're heavy. You know? Damn, bro. Look at that, right man. Right there. I'll just sit it right there. Um, yeah, and the us um, win. Like, yeah, we all get one. Like, that is awesome. That, that is awesome. That, that works in our the producers. Um, and, um, yeah, so like Mike got one, Jay, Jay got one, everybody, everybody. That is yeah. awesome, brother. I, I, I was, te- I was telling Mike, man, you, you guys definitely, uh, hold the record for the the most uh, from a Tejano perspective, the most Grammy awards, man. You you guys were on a roll there, brother. For the band, Gilbert Velasquez, he's he's, he's, a, he's got a whole bunch of them. He's a he's a man. Yes, yeah. yeah, but but as a band, that 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 uh, that's up there, man. Thank you for sharing that, Johnny. That's that's pretty cool, and that's that gives our our audience a very up close and and personal look of uh, uh, of what a Grammy is, brother. And that's that's not easy, man. That, that's a lot of hard work and dedication. Like you said, in some instances, 20-some hours without sleeping, man. That's that's it's crazy, bro. I've never worked that long. Um, that oh. oh, yeah, brother. And then on top of that, you see a white rabbit in the door. I know. Well... <laughs> 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 Anything and there's not seen or nothing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, or a delivery person or something. It was a. It was a. It <laughs> rabbit like about that big. Uh, it looked giant though, right? It looked giant through the people. Yeah, it looked giant through the people. Yeah. <laughs> and, like, it was placed in a real. It was standing like on the. On the. On the <laughs> that's that's crazy, man. On the, that is crazy. <laughs> Oye, oye, Johnny, you, you are well set up there, brother. Uh, you got your keys all set up. Uh, it, it would it wouldn't be a, 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 a full podcast, man, without getting uh, our our fans and and our audience a little taste uh, of a jam session here, brother. Can you think you can throw us some on there real quick, brother? Um, uh, on keys. What do I hear? Yeah, brother. You want to you want to throw a couple of jams on there? I could. Uh, give give us some some uh little taste of uh of uh, uh of some old Moss tunes, man, that you jammed to. Oh, brother. Like you, like the old mother. <laughs> uh, I got. I have the sounds like that and the old. Uh, you. Can... Um. So, yep, just the intros. Yeah, like the intros. Um. Uh, the, uh, My pitch, my pitch bender is messed up on his keyboard. I need to fix it. Well, let me go to town. Um, which one? Well, I know the one, Beto Road, um, Jimmy Sam, where we already got the song
That is awesome, brother. That is awesome, man. One of my favorites has always been, uh, and I was I always wondered, Johnny. I wanted to ask you, man, on uh, "Quién iba a pensar" uh, that that intro um, that you did there. It kind of reminded me a little bit of an '80s, like you said, in '80s. I always influenced you, man. Christopher Cross. Um, oh, yeah. uh, Yes, sir. Yeah, that was that was Jimmy's idea. That is, I mean, and the minute I heard it, man, I could reflect back and say, man, that that reminds me of the Christopher Cross yeah. and the way he came across, man, it was just that was just outstanding, brother. Yeah, and uh, and a lot of the songs that he did, uh, there's a um, subliminal melodies like that on it, like on a, yeah. Uh, a part of this is like a, the... He's got the... Uh, oh. Um, and another part that goes on the beat of the... Goes on the beat of... How do I explain? Da, da, da. From the Beatles. Uh, and another... Yep. Uh, Quisiera. Oh, oh Yep. It's, yep. It's in the it's in a string choir part. You hear it, you'll hear it. Pay attention to it. That is mm-hmm. that is just outstanding, man. And 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 ladies and gentlemen, that gives you a sneak peek uh if you've never been in a studio on how great minds think alike and just exactly what Johnny did there. And you you can have a producer or somebody say play it again and then then keep that now do this do that and that's how songs are created man as far as music is concerned and and Johnny's been doing that forever man so thank you for sharing that bro that's that's awesome hey, you're welcome. also uh, I, I don't want to forget uh, I'm also working with a uh, with a uh, Wowie um the, the sex player yeah oh okay he's got a voice she's very similar to Jimmy um. Oh. I a song that I did, and uh, I'm going to feature him. I'm going to be releasing an album, and he's going to be on it. And That's awesome, bro. I'm going to let him release it on wherever he wants to as well, you know. Well, I tell you what, man, if you if you have music, send it, send it over, man, and we'll play it right here, too. Email, I'll definitely send it to you. Also, uh, I have uh, I work with Beto Ramos, and I'm also working with uh, Perla, Perla Judith. Uh, yes. Um, she's a writer, and, when, and she's got her singles out. She's coming um, come out with a new one that I've been working on as well. Um, and, um, yeah. 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 You're staying busy, Johnny. Like I said, man, hardest, hardest working man in showbiz, bro. Uh, and the biggest things, Johnny is hit after hit, brother. They keep coming. Yeah. Oh, and I'm also working with a rock band. So I'm like, Ah, which reminds me, brother. I saw you jamming with that rock band, man. And you, you guys played some journey. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. I love journey. Yeah. So how's that coming along, man? Uh, are you guys touring in just in the Corpus area, or are you guys uh, uh, start, starting to spread out? No, we've been going everywhere. Um, they just went to um, Cancun, but I didn't have my I had my passport, so I couldn't go. Got it. Oh man. So now I'm, now I'm, uh, I'm getting prepared for that. So I go. The next trip is going to be in Acapulco, in Arizona. You know, like Cancun. Yeah, you know. you, you don't want to miss out on that, brother. You don't want to yeah. miss out on that. No, those are those are big, man. Um, Johnny, for people, man, interested in getting a music project uh, help, because uh, uh, man, I've seen you do it all from guitar to bass to lay the tracks down for a lot of bands. Uh, so uh, if 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 you got a if, for people to get a hold of you, brother, uh, for you to work with them and and uh, how what's the best way to get a hold of you? Um, I don't know a website, uh, but I, I guess my number or on Facebook. Facebook, yes. Yeah. Um, I'm on Johnny Rod. This is Johnny Rod. Um, and and all they got to do is basically uh, message you, right, Johnny, through Facebook. Yeah, yeah. Well, I can leave my, yep. my number. It's uh, uh three six one four three four four five eight one. Got it. There you have it, folks. Oh. Um. And and you're talking here from from a gentleman that's that's, that's helped arrange and and produce some of the top hits, uh, Tejano hits that have continued to be on on 
you know, the top, some of the top uh, playlists still to this day. Uh, so Johnny, any, any other thing, man, any other projects you got going on? Anything you want to share about? Uh, I'm also, well, I work for a, a lawyer. I work for a law office of Joe Brad Brock. So there you go. Let's send him a shout out, brother. I saw that. And by the way, Johnny, congratulations on that, brother. I'm happy for uh, you, man. That's a, that's, um, a blessing. And, uh, where is my card? And uh, I can help you or anybody with that. I will definitely will. Andale, carnal. It's official. Hey, bro. Once you start pulling out uh, business cards, brother, it's official, oh, brother. Yeah, it's official. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome, bro. That is awesome. Uh, Oye, Johnny. So uh, one last thing, man, as far as um, the music is, is concerned, man. Um you know, from from a uh, a touring perspective, I, I know you're touring with a rock band. Any other Tejano bands that you're out there playing with and jamming out with, bro? Right now, I'm freelancing right now, so if I need help, uh, I'll I'll um, I'll go do it. Andale. Yes, but um, I I book first come first serve. You know, so there you uh, go and get and get them while you can because uh, you're in demand, you brother. Somebody uh, pays me more, like I better not do it. You know. Uh, yeah, I, I try to avoid that. I don't like to double book, you know. I know this girl asked me like the November fifth, but I already had a book, and I already went. I'm like, no, nah, well, that's why I can't. But I, I, I got to you know, Hopefully, they're able to do it for her. Sweet man. Well, I tell you what, man. Thank you so much, Johnny, and brother. It's been great to see you, man. Thank you for so much for for jumping on. Yeah, thank you for having me on. I would like to thank everybody uh, for the support. I like thank Sarah. I'd like to thank um, my mom and for uh, everything. Absolutely, man. Uh, and primeramente Dios. That's it, brother. Um, That's all it, my man. Kids, all my kids for, for you know, uh, putting up with me. <laughs> <laughs> Oye, John, one thing, man, I do want to mention, uh, también, man, um, uh, and I completely forgot and I apologize. This is huge, man. Um, you know, it, it happened during the midst of, of Maz being in, in the brink of the Grammys and everything. Uh, brother, you scared me there for a little bit, brother. Uh, you had a really bad accident, no? Oh, yeah, I did. That was in 2007. And it was January 28th. That was Lisa G's birthday. <laughs> Um, yeah, I was, um, I was crazy. Uh, I don't remember anything, just making a left turn. And, uh, I woke up in a hospital and I, um, in February, um, uh, mid-February and, uh, I was in a coma and, um, I had all these tubes and wires and, and what the hell happened? How how long were you out, Johnny, uh, on a coma, brother? I know it was a while. It was a while, no? Yeah, well, well, well it was January twenty eighth, so like a so from one month to the next month, but it was the whole month. It was like a couple of weeks. Jeez, bro. Yeah, so and then they they did surgery on me. And I remember having a cage of wires sticking through my my leg and like, or cables. I I got I had severe memory loss because I had when I woke up I was. I was dazed, and um, I see this girl sitting there, I don't know what he with blue eyes, and I, I don't know who she was. She was like, are you okay? And I am oh, no, oh, you were in an accident. And, oh, okay. and uh, you know who I am? No. It was my wife. I was married at the time. Oh, wow. And you couldn't remember? I, I, I didn't know who she was until my kids walked in. That's when I recognized her. Oh, and I don't, you know. So, um, as... Um, I was meeting people, uh, and so, some I remembered, some I didn't. Uh, I knew um, Javi Juice, which is a, well, Javier Padilla, which is a hero, other hero. Right. Uh, yeah. But that's all I knew, but I didn't, I didn't remember, I knew, I remember, I knew a few, they said we were playing on Mars, but I didn't know, like, who it was or what, till I got home. Uh, and then I saw, you know, um, well, the Grammys, and then I see uh, they, I, myself on the TV when they put a videotape, and I started crying, like, wow, that's me. Like, I didn't... Uh, that's crazy, I, brother. Oh, yeah, so you were coming from a... You know... 
You were coming from a gig? No. Uh, when 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 you got hit, brother? Yeah, we had, well, after a gig, it was at the Selena, uh, at Selena Auditorium. I saw a wedding. Um, yeah, and so I went to a house, and uh, I left from there. And I just remember making a left turn. I <laughs> woke up in the hospital. So you got T-boned? Uh, head on. Oh my God! Yeah, so I, I completed my left turn, and the police report showed I was in my lane already. And it was a girl that was 15 years old, no license, no insurance, undocumented. Her parents were undocumented, so. Jeez. And uh, my my car was shredded. <laughs> yeah, not only that, brother, but your legs. You you broke your legs, and you had a lot of injuries. No, my bone came out. Like I lost. I lost. Uh, four and a half liters of blood. I think the body was five. Uh, so I was already, I was already out. Uh, that's it. He's, he's, a, he's gone skis, you know. And um, but they gave me a blood transfusion, and they, uh, by by the grace of God, I'm here. I re I remember getting the news, Johnny. That was scary, brother. Um, you know, and like I said, that was that was at that time where Maz was on top, brother. But you were you you. I mean, you were fighting for your life, bro. So you were out of commission for, for quite a bit, right? Uh, it took me, uh, I was in a hospital bed for about eight months. You know, uh, it, was, uh, it, was, it was rough. I, I, was, I had to learn how to walk again. You know? Jeez. And then I would, I would go to therapy with a, put me on a, on a harness and I'd be taking baby steps underwater. underwater. You know? Yeah. I had to learn all over. Jeez, man. So, gracias a Dios, brother. Look where you're at now. You're back 100%. You're doing what you love to do, man. And uh, it's been a blessing. It's better. You know, I'm, I'm blessed. You know. um, makes you... Yeah. Eight, eight, amen to that, brother. Amen to that. So, um, all right, man. Well, hey, man. Once again, uh, me and you can stay off of here for, for a little bit longer, Johnny. Uh, definitely want to send our, 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 say our goodbyes to everybody. Uh, un saludito para toda la gente de México that tunes in. Again, um, we've got quite a bit of followers from México. Un saludito uh, para, para todos ellos. Thanks, thanks for tuning in. Este, and y'all have a good night. We'll see y'all. God bless.